I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on distance, time and speed. We are considering examples where relative velocity is involved. Question number 8 here is, two trains are running on parallel tracks in the same direction. At the speed of 60 km per hour and 80 km per hour. A person in the slower train watches the faster train go past in 18 seconds. Find the length of the faster train. So whenever they are traveling the same direction, relative velocity is lesser. Correct? That is kind of important to understand. So we can say that the relative velocity is actually 80 minus 60, which is 20 kilometers per hour. Right. So that becomes the relative velocity for us. Now, since we are talking about 18 seconds, a person in the slower train watches the faster train go past in 18 seconds. So what goes past is the length of the train, right? So, uh, so L, the length of the train, is being considered and a person sitting in the slower train sees the whole train passing by in 18 seconds, right? So definitely we need to convert this velocity into meters per second right so we have uh, 20 and the factor which is to be multiplied is 5 over 18 right how do we get that well kilometers have thousand meters and one hour is 3600 seconds correct so you get meters per second clear and uh, clearly when you do this and you should actually remember this part so dividing by twos, what we get here is a factor which is 5 over 18. Do you see that? 5 over 18. So it is 5 over 18, uh, I mean 5 over 18, which is a very important factor to convert from kilometers per hour to meters per second. Is that clear to you? Perfect. Okay. Now, it says a person in the slower train watches a train faster train go past in 18 seconds find the length now clearly the length or the distance is its time into velocity right so it is 20 times 5 over 18 which is the velocity times the time taken which is 18 seconds right so this is meters per second and we'll multiply this by 18 seconds so what you get is the length in meters do you see that now 18 and 18 also cancel so these multiple choice questions, they take advantage of uh, values, if you know, easier calculations, right? So that clearly gives you a length which is 5 times 20 or 100 meters. Is that clear? So we get this as 100 meters as the length of the tree. Perfect. So that is how you should be in a position to answer this in less than a minute. Remember this factor 5 over 18 so that you can save some time here. Now question number 9 is two trains are approaching each other. So that means one train is going in this direction and the other train is coming in this direction. So approaching means relative velocity is much higher, right? So relative velocity adds up. So you have to add the velocity. Two trains are approaching each other along a parallel track. One train travels 100 km per hour and goes twice as fast as the other. So if this one is 100, that one is 50, right? So we can just add 50 and we get effectively 150 km per hour as their relative velocity, right? They are approaching, so it is distances decreasing faster. If they are 125 kilometers apart, in how many hours will they cross each other? Well, that's simple. So the distance is given to us as 225 kilometers and definitely time will be ratio of this, right? So 225 kilometers divided by 150 kilometers per hour. So we get time in hours. Is that clear to you? So you can do this division, right? So uh, you can divide by, uh, well, let's do like this. Let's put this decimal here, right? 
and then we can divide by 15. 15 goes one time and then you get uh, uh, 75 and 15 goes five times. So we get 1.5 hours. So the time t equals to 1.5 hours. Is that clear to you? So that is how it can be answered. Perfect. So, so it's not very difficult. Important thing here is to understand that the relative velocity, if they are moving in opposite direction is higher and if they are moving in the same direction is lower. And therefore, we took difference in the first case and we added them up in the second case. If that is clear to you, then these questions should not take much time. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. Also watch other questions on this topic to master the techniques. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and share my videos with your friends. Thank you and all the best.